Hello again, YouTube. This is The Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. And No Simping requires telling the truth, you know, from a wise man's perspective. You know, I ain't no young dude no more. I already been there, had those experiences already. You know, and a lot of times young guys think different. That's why you need to get around an older guy that'll tell you the truth that know what he's talking about. It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of heartbreak. <clears throat> what I want to talk about on this one is, is mainly geared towards women. I think we, so we've been talking about on YouTube this Ebony Williams who says she wouldn't date a bus driver. And I believe that that's the problem with a lot of y'all. Y'all worried about the wrong thing. Y'all should be focused on uh, getting into a committed relationship, finding that person that you want to spend your time with and that you want to grow all with instead of worrying about what's in his pocket. Because that, that's just unwise for women to do so. Like, yeah, you your hope would be that you could find somebody with means. But what's more important than means is finding somebody that's going to treat you good, protect you, and build with you. So if you built yourself, right, you, your challenge Let's say you're a millionaire. Let's say you you doing good by yourself, okay? Your challenge is to be submissive as if you're not a millionaire. Your challenge is to respect him regardless. Because I think y'all need to watch them Diane Carroll interviews. Because a lot of women, what they do is over time their respect dies. And they expect a man to just put up with it because they're a woman. Only a fool gonna put up with that. You gonna be somewhere else. And then the, the, the evilest thing is a lot of these women will mess over a good guy and then they'll try to treat the bad guy like they should have treated the good guy. How many of y'all do that? I'll wait, put it in the comments. That's what they do. Oh, I would never date somebody like that. Then you date somebody like that. And now you trying to you trying to be the wife you could have been back there with a black eye. He beating on you. He beating on you. Cheating on you. The other dude wasn't doing that. You ain't like him. No, you wanted to punk him. You wanted to dominate him. You ain't like him. Now you got a dude that could care less what you think, don't listen to you, nothing. And a lot of y'all be putting yourself in that situation because y'all got to learn how to be honest and to show proper respect. And y'all young women, y'all got to treat yourself like a hidden treasure. Because that's really what it is until you start giving it away. When you're young, don't give it away. It'll keep you in a certain mindset. Don't give it away. Read your Bible. Pray. So the most high will be near. Even if you're not the most religious person. Do that. Stop trying to listen to this evil music. Stop trying to be a part of this evil culture. Because this culture, all these dudes going to do is keep running through you. Making babies with you and then disappearing on you. You treat that like a hidden treasure. and You learn how to vet from a female perspective. You can escape a lot of the problems that many women, especially black women, are dealing with right now but what do y'all want to do is this what i see him doing you want to take you have a dude 
ex drug dealer, ex gang banger, turn his life around, and now you want to treat him like he a punk, like what people call a B I T C H. You gonna awaken that man, and he ain't gonna want nothing to do with you. Cause most guys, they you know they want their life with the most high. They want to turn you know change their life, but they ain't they still ain't gonna become no punk though. And a lot of guys, they might be that way for a minute when they don't understand. When they start watching these videos on YouTube and reading them chapters in the Bible, they talk about a man's role in his family. You gonna be out of there. You say, I don't care, I don't care. Yeah, okay. Okay. See, that's the problem. There's no way the Most High gonna let y'all rip y'all kids away from these guys and not pay some kind of price. I'm talking about the good guys. I'm talking about, like, for instance, I ain't never cheated, but it didn't matter. I got treated like I was the biggest cheater. That's just the, that's just the facts. That's the facts. So that don't, they try to use that but, okay, what about guys like me that don't do that? I know another dude. Gotta be the worst treated man in a marriage that I know. Never cheated on his wife. She treat him like dookie. Like dookie out her booty. Flushing down the toilet. That, they use that as an excuse. That don't be mattering like that. So what y'all got to do, and Maya ain't no way, and Maya, if you hear this, ain't no way you should be marrying yourself. You got to, you got to, see y'all women, y'all got to, for one, you got to stop being so conceited. Like a lot of women are turn a dude down that they actually like. And we teach dudes over here, once they turn you down, that's it. You ain't supposed to get another chance with him because of, that's a lot of the divorce. When they turn you down, when they be talking to other dudes, that's the end. You try to get with them, you trying to run game. You trying to persuade them, all this. When things go awry or down the line, she's still going to be somewhere else. So don't waste your time. When they reject you, move on. And I'll tell you something else. Okay, if one woman rejects you and you see another woman in the same place that you like, don't be ashamed to talk to her. Be like, oh, he ain't no good. What you mean I ain't no good? You reject it. They try to pull out, he ain't no good. He be trying to talk to everybody. Okay, so his life, so he should just stop and the one that reject him, come on now. That's not even making, that's, people don't even be rational. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Y'all women, y'all got to be more, y'all got to learn how to vet so y'all won't have to rely on money. Because a lot of dudes with money like y'all talking about, they ain't trying to commit to nobody. They want to they wanna run it. They want to play, play games. And they want to run game. Thanks for watching. We got more videos to come today. So stay tuned.